A legend sits in the deep sea, a blast from the past that's intrigued people for over a hundred years. After the Titanic sank on April 14, 1912, the guys who owned the White Star Line immediately thought about how they could lift the ship up. They started thinking maybe the Titanic didn't completely sink, but honestly, they threw away the idea of saving it. Plus, they had no clue where exactly the ship sank or how deep the Titanic was. So back in 1912, they dealt with a lack of technology to find the ship, much less pull it up from the ocean floor. 73 years flew by before the Titanic was found by the ocean explorer Robert Ballard, sitting pretty 3,800 meters deep. That was a serious wow moment with the first images of the Titanic which showed the ship had broken apart, proving the White Star Line was wrong when they claimed the Titanic had sunk in one piece. We've got a video on our channel showing that the Titanic actually broke into three sections. Quick, go hit our video link below. Still looking grand and in decent shape, the Titanic lay at the bottom of the sea. But when the wreck was found in 1985, did people have the technology to snatch the Titanic from the seabed? We, the dudes at Brugger Films, dare to dream the impossible. Saving the Titanic from Davy Jones's locker. We're gonna spitball a 3D simulation of Titanic's rescue using the same idea as for the Golden Ray ship that sank stuffed with over 4,000 cars off the coast of Georgia in the US back in 2019. Hey there, welcome to the Brugger Films channel for another production. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and do that now. If you're enjoying the video, hit that like button and don't forget to share because why not spread our channel to your friends? Let's go. In 1985, when the Titanic was found, people were chattering about how to pull up the ship. Million buck theories with high chances of bombing came up, but the political angle made things even more complex. Who had the rights to Titanic's wreckage? This and the lack of solid tech meant any plans to rescue Titanic got canned. But let's be more optimistic. In 1997, over at the Far East Livingston shipyard in Singapore, the building of the Asian Hercules II was getting wrapped up. It was this mega crane that could lift just over 20,000 tons. Then in 2002, the Asian Hercules II, along with another Gundast, the Hambis, hauled up pieces of the tricolor cargo ship that sank chock full of cars. They sliced up the tricolor using this tough cable called Vidya, as strong as diamond. They fitted supports onto tricolor's hull, then hoisted these giant chunks from the bottom of the sea and loaded them onto a floating platform to be shipped off to the port of Zeebrug. We're going to use a similar trick for our Titanic simulation. We'll get the Hercules II to do the heavy lifting. Only hiccup is Titanic's at a depth of 3,800 meters. Basically, the Hercules II would need a whack of cable. The problem with Titanic is it's already in pieces, so cutting it further isn't an option. The plan is to attach supports to tricky spots on the hull and to lighten Titanic, we'd use air balloons inside the ship. For example, pulling up the tricolor took a year. It's time to rewrite what happened. Remember to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like the video, alright? A ginormous structure, around 150 meters long, weighing roughly 20,000 tons, starts moving at the bottom of the sea. This once sunken ship starts to rise from the deep against all odds and stirring imagination worldwide. This is a never seen before mega maneuver. Studies say that due to its shape, the bow took just over five minutes to sink to the seabed. It's got a long way back up. 
So, our dream ship's gonna have to make a real long journey. It's like the Titanic's gonna become some kind of monument or something, even though it's weird to call someone who killed people a hero. But hey, they saved over 1,500 people. There's been some stuff in the news about studies on the ship's structure they pulled up from the wreckage. Apparently the Titanic was tougher than we thought when it hit that iceberg. Any other ship back then would have been like, we were wrong about the Titanic, we thought she was like this delicate little thing, not too nimble. But then she turns out to be the superhero by managing to stay afloat for like two hours, which totally let more people live. It's kind of like she was coming up for air. The Titanic is starting to rise from the deep sea. There's no more color anymore, and those awesome yellow smokestacks with black tops, all gone. Man, seeing those was like knowing the White Star Line had arrived, you know? The wreckage gets cleaned up, and it's like a time capsule from the past, just waiting to tell us everything. The top deck, where so many people made their last stand, is still there, but the captain's room, totally destroyed. Now you can see the wound that took down the Titanic. This massive cut along the side that even sliced into boiler room 6, right to the coal deposit in room 5. There were 46 people working the boilers, only 7 made it out. Could you imagine if we could get up close and personal with the Titanic and see every little detail hidden under the sea? The dancing halls, posh rooms and that grand stairway leading to the Titanic's front end. Once filled with the who's who of high society, it's all pretty much gone now. The cargo hold had tons of food, luggage and other supplies. There are these stories that the Titanic wasn't carrying just one car, but two. Workers and third-class passengers stayed up front, and they were the first to feel the iceberg hit. The squash court, a heated pool, even a gym, all a part of what the front of the Titanic had to offer. History did a 180 on this one. What used to be a symbol of terrible loss and a huge disaster, it's now seen as a symbol of hope, toughness, and human achievement. So the plan is to tow the Titanic to New York, finishing the journey it should have made that Wednesday morning, the 17th of April, 1912. That's a week after it set off. This massive ship that once tested the waters ended up in a sad, watery grave but now it's finally getting to where it was supposed to go all along. As time goes by, the Titanic becomes the remaining survivor of its own disaster. What do you think? Do you think the Titanic wasn't saved because we just didn't have the tech? Some people think the Titanic is getting robbed all the time. They cleaned out millions worth of jewels and stuff from down there. Do you think we'll ever know for sure? Every cool story or interesting thing about the Titanic, the people on it and the mystery surrounding the ship are right here on the Brugger Films channel. We've got lots of different content like fiction, universe stuff, stuff on UFOs, a bit on health and loads more. So if you liked our video, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button and share with your buddies. Sounds good? We'll keep making more awesome content for you then. Oh, and don't forget to follow us on social media. The link's in the video description. Catch you later.